I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks. Welcome to another episode of Pinch of Frank. Today we're making brown butter. Brown butter only has one ingredient, and basically that's butter. I use unsalted butter. And butter basically in its solid form is an emulsion. An emulsion is when you take two things like milk solids and butter fat, and you kind of push them together and they form that solid piece of butter. Another example is a classic vinaigrette. You're taking vinegar and oil and you're whisking it together until it forms kind of uh, one thing. So basically what's gonna happen with the vinaigrette, eventually it's gonna separate out and you're gonna have your oil and vinegar on the bottom. And that's what I have here. I've melted some butter and I have some butter fat on top and then the milk solids are on bottom, like, like that white line. And basically what we're doing is we're taking those milk solids, which are composed of proteins, carbohydrates, some minerals and vitamins, and we're gonna brown those into a nutty, delicious mixture. Brown butter is really simple, but you do have to pay attention to it. You can't just put it on the stove and leave it alone. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my butter, drop it in my pot, right? Uh, you have to pay attention to it because it can go from brown to burned really quick. I'm gonna put it over medium heat. So over medium heat and let it melt. So it's really important you have everything you need close by so that when the butter's ready, it's ready. So I have a whisk, I have a heat proof spatula, and I have a container that I'm gonna store this in. Now this container is really important because once the butter is at the shade of brown that I like, I like to put it into a container, right? And that usually slows down the cooking process. If we leave the brown butter in the pot, it's gonna to continue to brown. So once I get to the right color, I'm gonna dump it right out into a dish. This is a heat proof dish, it's a Pyrex. Um, so find something like that or a measuring cup or something like that because you don't wanna leave it in the pot. It's gonna keep on browning. It's gonna carry over cook. Look it up, it's a term that you should know. The reason I have a whisk and a heat proof spatula is because I like my butter solids to be really fine and small. You could probably just leave this and stir it once in a while, but I'm a little more particular when it comes to it. So what I like to do is whisk the whole time and then once in a while get in there and scrape the sides and the bottom off so that I know it's not burning. But I will stay with this until it's done. You can't walk away like I said earlier. I want you to watch the change as we go. If I see there's kind of brown bits on the side here, I'll use my spatula just to kind of swipe it down, get into the corners once in a while. I like to use both. You can just use one or the other if you want, but I find I get a better product in the end this way. So basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna start to boil away. And basically that is the, the liquid in the milk solids cooking off. And eventually that's gonna leave us with just like the nice little brown bits. So if you see that it's cooking too quickly, you can always lower your heat. I'm gonna lower it just a little. Uh, lower heat gives you a little more control. A little bit lower, as long as it's kind of moving. I just shut it off, I think. Right. As long as it's bubbling away like that, just get in there and keep on whisking. Once in a while, get in there with your spatula, scrape down the sides, because sometimes the sides get a little brown earlier. I usually keep a little of this in the fridge in case I need it. So it does store for quite a long time. I usually can keep it in there for up to two weeks as long as it's refrigerated and covered. All right, it's bubbling away happily. Just get in there and whisk it. You can listen. You hear it? Do you hear it? At the end of the day, this really only takes about five to seven minutes. Maybe even less, depending on how much butter you're doing. Obviously I have a small amount of butter, so it's usually gonna go a little quicker if you have a small amount of butter. Once in a while I get in there and I scrape down my corners of my pot or the, you know, the, the edges, just to be sure I'm getting all those wonderful solids. And usually what I see happening here is that I have really big bubbles. Like you have a lot of bubbles here. And as you get closer, the bubbles are gonna subside and you're not gonna see as many of them. And that's when your butter really starts to brown. Once I see the bubbles starting to kind of get smaller and disappear, that's usually when you're getting closer and closer to having your brown butter. Use your nose as well, right? Right now I don't smell anything nutty yet, but it's gonna start getting nutty really soon. You can see the side of my pan over here is starting to get little brown bits. So that's why I have my spatula. Sometimes the heat creeps up the side of the pan. Just mix those puppies in there, right? You can see my bubbles are starting to get really small, not big bubbles anymore, so I'm getting there. Now, you can have different degrees of brown butter, darker, lighter, it's totally up to you. 
I tend to go a little on the lighter side and now I feel like we're done because it is gonna carry over cook. I'm gonna move this aside, get my container, and I'm gonna pour this out into my cooler dish, right? Now, there's stuff left in the pot, that's why I have my rubber spatula. Get all those really nice brown bits off of the side and the bottom, and it's done. You'll see that the bubbles will subside, let it cool, and you have brown butter. Like I said, brown butter is one of those things you have in your culinary tool belt. It's brown, it's nutty, it's caramelized. You can use it in so many different things. If you want your cookies to have a little more depth, use brown butter, not whole butter. If you want to have ravioli with brown butter and sage, it's delicious. Some fish dishes like scallops or sole meunier or flounder meunier, use brown butter. Uh, people even use it in their eggs. This is one of those things that's super versatile and it's good to have on hand and it comes together really quick. And this is the finished product. Basically, we've taken that butter, we've taken some plain old butter and made it into something super special. It's great to have in your fridge. Mine is a nice, light, nutty brown. You can go a little darker if you want, but uh, just give it a good stir before you use it. Heat it up, give it a good stir, and you'll see those brown bits are really tiny. And that's why I use the whisk and the, uh, the, the rubber spatula because I like it to be nice and fine, not big chunks of butter um, or milk solids. Um, and that's it, like look at that. It only took about five minutes to make and this makes you a much better home cook or uh, even a much better chef. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We have merch in the description down below. We also have a post office box down there as well. Uh, I wanna thank my Patreon patrons for supporting us. I really, really appreciate it. And that that is my brown butter. I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks. Have a nutty day.